Shreya Rao from UT Southwestern. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Ian Nealon from UT Southwestern as well. Our systematic review and meta-analysis titled The Impact of Exercise and Pharmacologic Interventions um, on Visceral Adiposity, a systematic review and meta-analysis of long-term randomized controlled trials will appear in Mayo Clinic Proceedings. You know, visceral adiposity that's fat in and around the intra-abdominal organs is a major contributor to metabolic syndrome and is associated with increased risk for um, diabetes and heart disease. Reducing visceral fat really has the potential to substantially decrease the risk of cardiometabolic diseases, but there are no currently published guidelines on therapeutic approaches to reduce fat since large-scale sustained duration randomized controlled trials are lacking. Therefore, using state-of-the-art systematic review and meta-analytic techniques, we aimed to investigate the effectiveness of sustained interventions um, both exercise and pharmacologic for visceral adiposity reduction in adults. We reviewed over 2,000 titles and abstracts for our study uh, and only included randomized controlled trials of monitored exercise and pharmacologic interventions for reducing visceral fat as measured using CT or MRI imaging. And we found that both exercise and pharmacologic therapies were effective in reducing visceral adiposity. The reduction of visceral fat relative to weight loss differed for each intervention type. For example, Greater visceral fat loss relative to weight loss was achieved at higher weight reductions with exercise. And among exercise trials, aerobic regimens reduced visceral fat more than resistance training. Based on these results, we found that changes in visceral fat are not always predictable looking at weight loss alone. Indeed, preferential lowering of visceral fat over other fat types may be clinically meaningful when monitoring successive interventions when weight loss alone may underestimate some of the benefits. Now, this is a very highly relevant finding for practicing cardiologists and primary care physicians. Practitioners should be aware that patients who adhere to regular exercise and or pharmacologic therapies for weight loss can make important uh, changes potentially impacting future risk for cardiovascular and metabolic disease, even if significant weight loss is not initially achieved. Newer agents for the treatment of diabetes and cardiovascular disease, including SGLT2 inhibitors and GLP-1 agonists, are emerging as important modulators of weight loss and potentially visceral fat reduction. The, these agents will likely play an increasingly important role in the management of patients with complications of metabolic syndrome, and we encourage further investigation into the potential of these agents to modulate, modulate visceral adiposity. Thank you very much. Have a great day. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.